I am 100% sure that we are not done with this game. Hey guys, Multiclassic Gamer here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. In the previous episode, we took on Ice Station Bandicoot and Ghost Town in vice versa order. And in this episode, we're going to be taking on the final two levels of the game. Solar Bowler and Force of Nature. So here we go into Solar Bowler. Now, this level is actually not that bad. Well, now I'm probably going to let's regret that because I probably just jinxed myself in saying that. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, for the most part, this level is not too bad. At least not until you get to speed run. I mean, probably, without a doubt, this will probably be the last pain in the ass speed run we have to do in, the, in this entire game. Because this level can be quite, well... It can be quite treacherous, I, I should say. Well, actually not... Come to think of it, the white gem for this level is not that fun to do either, because there's like... Dang, I don't know how to explain this level. But, um, basically, there's all kinds of different paths you have to take if you want to get all, all the crates in this level, so... The white gem and, these, and the relic for this level are not that fun to get. Because, well... And we put this level is kind of, is actually pretty complex so and on top of that you got no walls anywhere so you know death is almost hard to avoid when it comes to this level but other than that it's not too bad i guess i mean obviously you know the obviously the regular gem is gonna be easy to get but not definitely not the so i should i should not say the, the regular gem i should say the gray gems actually I'm pretty sure that's what they're actually called. Oh, great! Tiny! You guys know how much I love this guy after um, all the fun we had with him when we went through Medieval Madness, right? Yeah, well, he's decided to come back just for this one last time. But, unfortunately, it's not going to work in his favor because we may pass him somehow. Just somehow. I mean, we're probably not going to make it past him when we're doing the speedrun this level. Well, actually, come to think of it, we might not actually have to take that path when we do the, you know, the speed run of this level. So never mind. I suppose it won't be that bad. Still, you just want to check every single path you can ever possibly take in this level because if you don't, you're definitely gonna miss some crates, and you're never, and you're not gonna get the white gem. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've already missed out on a path somewhere back here. Man, that's where did they come up with some of the names of these enemies a tiny yeah i can definitely see where they came from camp with tiny's name but i don't know about nefarious tropy because it's kind of a random name to come up with i suppose and i'm not saying it's a bad name i'm not saying that they're you know that, that the careers of this game are really bad coming no not necessarily the of this game but you know for the uh franchise in general i should say you know i shouldn't say that they're that they're bad design names it's not the it's not what i mean i'm like not design names but coming up with names also, by the way, if you haven't guessed it yet, this is the very last of the rolling ball levels, so that's probably another reason why they wanted to, you know, put a rolling ball level in the uh, in the secret levels because they probably knew that MCG does not avoid these levels in particular. So, um, yeah, I'll be having a lot of fun doing this. I don't think you really need to go this way unless you're crazy enough to try to avoid nitro crates. It's actually more recommended you go this way. Yeah, this is much better. At least I like I like it better personally. I don't know about you guys. Okay. But yeah, this is pretty much what you have to deal with throughout this level. It's just these uh these annoying rolling things. But other than that, this is really not that bad. I mean they could be a lot worse when it comes to these things. Oh, look at that. There's a regular gem right here, okay. So I guess it is actually easy to miss if you're actually, you know, just going for the for the uh warp thing. But then again, you don't really have to do any of these levels at all if you're not going for 100%, so I might as well just, uh, not even say you have to do anything. I mean, obviously, you the only reason you want to go through these levels if, is if you want to get 100%, so never mind anything I'm saying. If you're not going if you're not going for 100% in this game, you don't even have to get to this point in the game at all. You just have to fight the final boss, which you can pretty much do after you take on the 25th level the first time. So, we could have taken on the final boss, like, right in episode 16. That's when we were ready to do it, but... You know, I decided not to because that would not be a very cli climactic ending for the LP. You know, because to, to have all this other stuff left over before we do it, so... That's kind of my re main reasons for doing so. And, uh, if we miss a gem along the way, I'm not even gonna bother to... 
die, I'm just gonna, like, kind of backtrack through level, because I know he can do that. You know, I know I know that's possible, because I've done it before. At least I'm pretty sure I have. Oh, God. You really, really need to do this to me? Well, then again, once we get the Nitro Crate switch, these things will be gone anyway, so... You know, backtracking won't be so bad once we do. If we have to do that, which I hope we don't. Because backtracking, personally, in my opinion, is never really fun at all. Okay, so we got more of this. Really? Seriously? You're not gonna make them like roll 360 or something, anything like that? I'm actually kind of surprised. Jeez, how far does these these things go out, man? Well, I'm pretty sure that's as far as they go, as you know that. And I think we're already close to the to the warp thing, if I'm not mistaken. Like, is it like around here? Yeah, it is. There it is. There's 70. Okay, we got 12 more crates somewhere around here. I don't know where they are, but they're somewhere. Okay. Um. All right. So that's uh, that's the first. Okay, so three times four. It means there's three of those four sets of crates. Okay. So there's somewhere around. Oh crap. Crap. Where? Okay. So so far we got. Oh no no. Okay okay. It's right here. Right here. Okay. Is this it? Please, is that the last of the crates? Please tell me it's the last of them. But well, we're about to find out. Oh, jeez, don't fall down there. Please don't. Okay, thank you. Come to think of it, we have, we've actually made ourselves without dying. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. Just saying. And we got the white gem. Nice. All right, so there we go, guys. Both gems in one go. And without dying, too. So, so far, we, we've actually been doing pretty well this episode. Not too shabby, I should say. But, unfortunately, that's probably going to change right here. Because we're about to do the speedrun of Solar Bowler. And let me tell you right now, it's definitely not that fun. You know, because on top of being in a hurry, you got to avoid falling off the ledges. And that can, and being in a hurry definitely does not make it any better. But, um, to be honest, I don't think this is the worst one in the game. But, it's the worst one you have that we have that's left. Like, I don't think Force of Nature is that bad when it comes to speedrun. I mean, it is it is the very last level of the game, so it's supposedly going to be, like, really, really hard. But, um, and I just wasted a few seconds there. Great. Great start to the speedrun, MCG. You already wasted... Wasted... Wasted? What? You wasted a few seconds. God. All right. Whoa! That was definitely not worth it. Definitely not worth it. And what the heck. There's an invisible floor there. What the heck? So, so far we're at 8 seconds. We're doing just fine so far, I think. I'm not totally sure. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Oh, God. I remember how much fun I have doing the doing this level in gen- No, 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 no! Oh, no! We were so close to the end there. I knew, I knew we were really close to the end there. Dang it. Alright, let's try this again. To... Oh no, no! Keep going too fast, but at the same time, you can't go too slow, because. Uh, this thing is a real pain in the ass. Should I just meet you guys? Yeah, that is definitely my cue to meet you guys back where I was before. Okay. Meet you guys there. If I can stop screwing up these sharp turns. Oh my god. Oh, I just nearly avoided death there right as we came out of a cut. Jeez. Okay, let's just be done with this level and uh, pretend all this frustration never ever happens. Okay. 50 seconds. Okay, that's good enough for Sapphire. I'll, I'll, I'm going with it. I'm alright with it. We still got one more, one last chance to redeem ourselves here. And that'd be in the force of nature. So. Oh god. Are we really- is it really time for this already, guys? Is it t really, really time for the final level of the game? Because, well, it is. So, here it is, everybody. Force of Nature. Uh, two things I should tell you guys about this level real quick. Well, actually, three, t three things. First of all, it's the final level of the game, so expect it to be very, very difficult. 
Second of all, it's it's uh the very it's also a Coco level. So essentially, Crash is officially done going through levels at this point, except for the final boss. But not counting that, Crash is officially done with his platforming days. Like, at least for this uh, LP, I guess. You know, I'll, I will have future Crash games to do. And third and lastly, this is not a platforming level. Well, actually, it sort of is, but. Let's just say you're not going to be on foot for this level. You will be on a snowboard, so... You know, just letting you guys know all that. But in that, just have a great time with this level, because really, it is actually kind of fun. I mean, it's not... It is very difficult and very annoying, but it's also really fun. I mean, who wouldn't have fun snowboarding through a level for the final level of the game as Coco? I mean, Coco does have some pretty sweet moves. Granted, some of the crates level, yeah, they're pretty annoying to get, but it shouldn't be too bad. So, here we go. The final level of the game, guys. Can't believe it's already here. And look at that, they got they got these nice Christmas, le Christmas levels, too. I mean, Christmas... What am I trying to say? Christmas... I seriously lost my train of thought here. I meant to say Christmas uh, lights, yeah. That's what I meant to say. Also, Wooly Mammoths ha ha make their appearance since Arctic Antics here, which was the first level of the game. So for the first time, since the very beginning of this, of this game, we are now seeing Wooly Mammoths again, which is pretty crazy. And I decided I changed my mind on the whole speedrunning thing, because we're not ready for that yet, we're just not. So let's just, uh, let's just, uh, get the crates first. Yeah, we're just gonna take it slow this first time, that'd be, that would be the best thing to do. Now there's actually a secret that makes it a lot easier to get the get the white gem for this level. And that is well actually for surviving in general. And that would be just simply follow the follow the Wumpa fruits. Because they literally take you right to where you need to go. They take you to the crates and take you to the safest pass. So in general, it's just best to not die. Like I was saying before, just avoid the Wumpa fruits and de oh wait no, sorry, avoid the enemies and get the definitely go for the Wumpa fruits. And also definitely go for the Aku Akus, because they actually screw you over out of getting the white gem. But of course, we cannot commit suicide because then we just be wasting Aku Akus, which we are really desperately going to need when we do the uh, relic for this level. So I'm definitely I'm just gonna, not gonna commit suicide. I'm just gonna finish this off. Yep, not gonna even care that we have to do this level a third time now. Just don't even care. But we might have to do it anyways, because these guys are still going to be annoying and cross our path and kill us. Stupid, annoying, whatever those things are. I don't even care if people get offended by me saying what... Referring to those humans as, as things. Because I just don't care. This is the final level of the game, so it's a... Uh, we just missed the gem as well! So we got no, absolutely nothing out of this run. I'm officially going to commit suicide now. Sorry guys, it's been a great lifetime as an LP here, but I'm back to life. Okay. And we- oh nice, they gave us Aku Aku, okay. It's, that's fine, I'll go with it. So apparently we still- we already suck at this level so much because we've already taken like several attempts just to get past this one, one guy in the front, like seriously. Just, just commit suicide, please. Just die. What? You mean to tell me that Wooly Mammoth doesn't hurt me at all, but, but the guys who, are, but the humans that are just minding their own, their own business, just kill me in one shot without even touching me, or like purposely without, I mean like without purposely harming me. Crash logic. I mean, more like video game logic. You never, he never ceases to impress us. Why can't I get all the crates? Dude, seriously, come on. This is not that difficult. I remember I did not really struggle as much in the practice run. I know that. So, um, can we please ha not have another frustrating episode? Because I've really... This game has really, really tested my patience in the past few episodes. And I really don't want to go back to being, you know, the frustrating frustrating ranty person that I became that I suddenly became this LP I really don't want to you know go back to that so it'd be really really nice if we could just have a non frustrating run at this level please please and thank you with sugar on top I'll even add a 
a coupon to your nearest hotel, I suppose. I guess the game really does not agree with that. Okay, how about an inn, I suppose? You know, for an inn coupon, I, you can actually let me go through this level without, you know, missing any crates. That'd be nice, right? I mean, I mean, who wouldn't agree with that? I, I personally wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't, dis, wouldn't disagree to that. Okay, all right, so enough of those annoying jokes. I, I, I can't tell if they're annoying or not, but you guys can, can so. Because you're my viewer, so you can always tell if something's entertaining and something's not. You know, something that I say or do is. All right, so once again, just falling the lump of fruit like usual. Again, I'm just, I'm just out of things to talk about today, so sorry if I, you know, just don't really seem like I'm in a good mood or something like that, I don't know. No, it's just the, I mean, it's mainly just the frustration that gets me, you know, kind of a bad mood, but, you know, other than that, I've been mostly in a good mood today. Actually, I'm recording this the same day I recorded the previous episode, I just screwed up again. I really wanted to say effed up there, but I didn't, because I did it for you guys, you know, I do a lot of stuff for you guys. All right, let's just get the. There we go. Finally, we got we got something. Okay, at least we can, now we can say we got something in this run. Okay. Now I don't feel as bad as I did last time when we actually finished the level off and got absolutely no collectibles. All right. So with that, I'm going to meet you guys. Uh, well, I don't actually know how to meet you guys back because I'm honestly considering just getting the speed run next because that'll be a lot easier. I mean, with this doing the speed run, we can actually just, uh, well, wait, could I just, no, I couldn't have committed suicide, because I have to jump over the walls, which I can't, okay, all right, so I'll meet you guys back in the level real quick, okay, guys, here we go, last speed run of the game, so let's just get it, get this over with, so we can move on to the final white gym run of the level, run of the game, and then we can move on to the final boss after that, of course, I'll, I'll just be doing the final boss in a separate video, because, you know, what else better way to make the endings of the LP more epic, you know, but, other than having the final boss after every single thing we do, you know, no matter how anticlimactic the final boss is, at least, you know, at least it would be the last thing we ever do, so it would still be, you know, a lot more climactic than if it were, if we were to just end it off with this level, actually. Granted, this level is a lot of fun, and it definitely deserves to be the finale of a Let's Play, but, you know, let's just, uh, let's reserve that for another time. And why am I not holding the, hel holding down the R button? I definitely recommend that you do that when you're doing a speedrun. I mean, it would, would definitely help a little bit, don't you think? And also, so does, you know, being invincible, which we actually managed to accomplish this time, so not bad. So far, we've had, uh, quite a fine speedrun of this level so far. Just so far. Of course, now I say so far, the game's gonna mess me up somehow, like somewhere. Yeah, yeah, right, right here. I'm just gonna start taking hits, and then before you know, we lose all of our Aku Akus, and then I die. Wouldn't that be swell if that actually happened? I hope it doesn't, because I'm not really in all in favor of that happening today. At least not today. It can happen tomorrow when we're doing the final boss, because that'll be a lot more of an epic ending to an LP. But not really so epic if it happens here. Okay, so let's make it to the end here. Please, please tell me we're close to the end here, because it would be really nice if we could do this in less than a minute. That would be my goal right now, at this very moment. Come on, less than a minute, less than a minute. Yay, we did in less than a minute, all right. Let's see if that gets us a relic, though. Is it worth it? Yes, it was, it got a sapphire. So, there you have it, everybody. We ended off the final speedrun of the game with the sapphire relic, and I'm fine with it. I truly am. I am seriously gonna have to consider doing some kind this episode because if we really, if we really do, if I really do suck this much at the white gem, I'm getting the white gem in this level, then it might not be the worst thing to do to get to start cutting this episode. So from here on out, if we fail, I'll just meet you guys back where we failed at. Okay, so how's that? Definitely won't make this LP, I mean this episode too long. This LP has actually been fairly short compared to some of my other LPs, but it doesn't mean that it was any better. You know, shorter doesn't necessarily mean better, because, you know, to be honest, I'd, I'd much rather have a longer LP, because that means that, you know, one, 
usually if I'm able to commit to a longer LP, that means that the game is actually good. So it was definitely worth doing it. You know, I'm not saying this game wasn't worth it, because obviously if I, if I made it this far in the game without, you know, quitting the LP, even after all the frustration I went through, then obviously it was worth it. And it is, because we're just about done with this game, so... You know, at this point, why, why complain about anything? Alright. So, crates, crates galore, I suppose. Okay. We're almost there, almost there. Crap, crap! Uh, I suppose one of the things I'll never really understand about this game is the fact that they expect you to make those jumps like that, because... If you want to get all get the white gem for this level, that's simply what you gotta do, basically. Just be able to make those jumps. And also be able to react quickly to, you know, the changing paths of the of the Wumpa Fruit, because that can be a big issue, too. Because you know, I don't know how they expect you to turn that fast, or to jump high enough they... Okay, guys, so... Um, this is, uh, me post-commentating the rest of this episode, because, um, uh, due to some... You know, weird issue with my microphone. It, uh, you know, kind of got screwed up and made the commentary sound really, really bad. So, um, I know that when it comes to post commentating episodes, I generally do not, you know, have. Let's just say I generally am kind of, kind of awkward when I do post commentary because, you know, it's more so me just watching, watching me play the game instead of me actually talking as I'm playing the game, which I'm, not, I'm a lot more used to. So, um, but hopefully this won't be so bad as last time I post commentary, which I don't know how long it's been. So anyways, what you guys are watching right now is my successful t attempt to the white gem run. And I can't really even say how many attempts it actually took me to get to finally get to this point because, you know, by the time I got to this point, I just wanted to stop recording entirely, even though I kept on doing it anyways. But, you know, here we are on the successful attempt here, so... You know, again, I, I'm not really sure how to commentate over this, other, other than the fact that I did everything right this time. It's about freaking time, too, because you guys definitely would not have wanted to sit through, you know, all 21 minutes or so, however long it took me to, to get, the, get to this attempt. And, uh, again, I stand on the whole wondering why the mammoths don't hurt you. It's probably the biggest surprise for me. Oh, look, I'm invincible! Hooray! Look at me being all invincible, except probably at this point I was actually, I was probably cussing at the screen. Wouldn't surprise me if I was actually cussing right here. You know, as awesome as it was, I was actually invincible. You know, but... <clears throat> I guess it wasn't the first time I'd been invincible while doing a run at this level. <clears throat> I guess one of the things I really took in, did not, I failed, one of the things I failed to take into account when doing this is the fact that at least, you know, at least you don't have to go... You know, you don't have to be like in a in a ru absolute rush. I don't know why I paused there. I guess maybe, maybe maybe I just didn't care or something like that. I don't know. I didn't know what I had. I have no clue what I was doing here. All I know is is that I just wanted to be done with this level entirely. So um, yeah. Just look. Just look at me doing that. Look at me like pausing the game, going ah. Like maybe I'm like, maybe I'm taking a break or something to TL cuss or something. I don't know. You know, I have no clue at all. You know, I've been I've been LPing for like two and a half years now, and let me tell you, we're actually more like about three years now. But let me tell you, this is probably the most frustrated I've ever possibly been in a Let's Play episode. I could be wrong on this, I'm pretty sure I am. But um, you know, for three for three years, that is kind of a you know, it's a big deal to be frustrated that that much after you know three years of doing this. <laughs> But, you know, I should have been happy, though, that I actually got this on the, on this attempt, but, you know, even after all that, when I finally got the white gem here, I was still, I was still angry that it took me all that time just to get one little white gem, you know, and, you know, it was just, at this point, I just really, I was actually talking here, like, so negatively that I actually felt kind of, I, I feel kind of bad, but at the same time, I'm glad now, because... You maybe maybe there's a reason why this commentary got scrapped. Maybe maybe it was meant for that to happen. Maybe it was fate or so. You know, because of how I was talking here. But there it is, guys. You see, right there is uh, the secret warp room is complete 100% now. And I think here at this point, I basically just went to the the load screen just to show you guys. You know, to show off my 106% completion. Like it's really that thing, that big a deal of a show, big big of a deal to show off because. 
Obviously, I'm not the first person in the world to get 106% in this game. Definitely not. I can tell you that. And, um, okay, I guess I didn't do that yet. I don't know what I was doing here. I think I was more so just talking about, you know, I was still talking all about how much I hated doing that, doing that level, I suppose. That wouldn't surprise me, to be honest. And um, as I was doing this, of course, I was going around showing, showing off how, you know, cool it is. I suppose to, you know, to ha finally have everything done and just to be able to go to, to these different warp rooms and, you know, feel the accomplishment of seeing all this stuff done and whatnot. You know, that's definitely that's pr probably one of the perks to, you know, doing a let's play of a crash game. I guess is that you get to see that. Also. Um, Actually, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna reset that for the finale, which is the next video. So it doesn't really matter. Um, it's actually kind of a joke that I've been saving for. Well, actually, it's not really a joke. It's more so a pun that a friend of mine gave a gave this really cool idea to to say. So I figured, you know, might as well do that. And we'll be doing that in the finale, not this not this time. You know, since I got a chance to redo the commentary in this episode, there would been this would be a good time to do that. So um, I can't remember exactly what I was talking about right here. But basically, whatever I was doing, I should have been at least like moving around. At least it would, you know, have been something to watch. But there it is. I got two golds, two sapphires, and one platinum, which is not too bad. It's actually, I think that'd be probably fairly good for someone who's, you know, some of a beginner to this game. Even though I've been playing this game for over ten years now, I still feel and play like I'm some beginner at this game. Even though I can beat it, it still takes so much frustration that I still feel I consider myself a beginner at this game. Maybe that's one of the reasons why maybe it, perhaps I should have waited longer to do this game or, or something like that. I don't know. So maybe if I had waited longer and practiced this game a bit more, maybe it would have been so frustrating. But to me, it didn't feel frustrating when I was doing the practice run of this game. That's the thing. You know, I felt like I felt like I was ready to do this to LP this game during my practice run, but you know, after LP, after just about being done with the Let's Play, it almost seems like I should have waited longer to do this game, but I can't be sure on that. You know, I guess, uh... Again, I'd like to... You know, above all, I just want to apologize for any of the, you know, grossness you guys got, felt from watching me, you know, get all frustrated these, uh, levels, and... Oh, God. Okay, that's the end of the video. Holy crap. Okay. So I guess I'll see like a blank screen, a blank screen here or something like that. All right, or maybe I'll put something right here. But anyways, um, I will see you guys next time in the finale of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot: The Wrath of Cortex. And um, I'll be, I promise you guys, things will be much better in that video because let me tell you, Final Boss this game is a joke. So um, I'll see you guys next next time for the finale. Thanks for watching. Bye.